Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 81. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 120 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down here and talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I've got something awesome to be eating with my coffee. What are you doing over there? Why don't I have any coffee? Oh, because there was no coffee. This is like yesterday's coffee heated up. I have a LaCroix. I can't do microwaved up coffee. I can turn yesterday's coffee into an iced coffee, but I can't reheat yesterday's coffee. Really? I can't do it. So you don't want to try these? Are you sharing this? Yeah, but biscotti. It's not any good unless you dunk it. And you just said, said you don't like well, coffee. Well, I'll dunk it. Let's see. I mean, I'm not going to drink the cup of coffee. <laughs> we got these in the mail. I've been waiting to try them. Wow. And uh, so, of course, it's high key. So I'm sure I, I'm sure it was going to be good. Almond flour, erythritol, eggs, almonds, coconut oil. Let me try it not dunking it. Wait a second. I'm reading oh, sorry. tapioca starch, cream of tartar, and baking soda. So that is in the baking powder. So really clean ingredients. Almond flour, erythritol, eggs, almonds, coconut oil, and baking powder. I mean, that is really good. 110 calories, five servings is a piece. There's two and a half servings in this container. Hi, Key, I love you guys. Stop with the half a serving. I, right? Two servings or three servings. I love how crunchy they are. Like, I just knew it was going to be super crunchy. Those are good. They, they master the crunch. Link down below, and you can get them on Amazon. I'll leave the link for Amazon as well as the link for their website. But these Feel are good. really, really good. Oh, um, 110 calories per serving, nine grams of fat, three grams of protein, 10 total carbohydrates in a serving, uh, one fiber, six erythritol. So I, I like that all of the, all of the uh, carbs are coming from like the almonds. It's not fiber, so I no. like that. I like. I, I'd rather deal with the erythritol. I'm a little done. Slight cooling effect on these. Slight, yeah. slight, slight cooling effect. Mm -hmm. um, before we even move on, okay, because we do have a bunch of stuff. We had some questions asked in last week's Keto on the Couch, and they got answered. I don't know if you remember what the questions are, but you're about to find out. But we always like to kind of talk about deals. Deals. And I love deals. some of our subscribers found some awesome deals. So first one was from Joe. <gasps> Moon cheese. Starting on September 30th to October 25th at Costco, Moon Cheese is buy one, get one free. I absolutely love Moon Cheese, but so, it can get pricey. It, it, buy one, get one free. I've never seen a buy one, get one free at Costco. And, it, and if it's at Costco, it's gonna be the big bag. Yeah. He also put a thing in our Facebook family group, if you live near a Publix, now today is Sunday, Publix ads go through Wednesday, the new one starts on Thursday, but currently the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce Yes. is buy one, get one free at Publix. It's delicious. We kind of save it for special occasions because right. it's got a few wonky ingredients in it, but. I prefer the Alterna Sweets. Delicious. But you know what, Alterna Sweets, like I can't run to the store and get. No. Um, we have a link for Alterna Sweets and a coupon code down below, but when we can't get that, we, we're at a barbecue sauce or buy something like one, that. Buy one, get one. And if there's a party, like if we're having like non-keto people come over here, like when Anthony roasts his pigs and stuff like that, we put out the sugar-free Sweet Baby Rays. They all ate Nobody it. Nobody knows the difference. Nobody knows the difference. And then you don't have to worry about like which one is which. Like I can have a batch of pulled pork and just put that in there and like, no, like I'm good. I, I didn't accidentally eat the wrong one. Nobody complains. Nope. So we have another one is from Danielle, and she had also put in the one about the the um, moon cheese, but she put this one up as well. She said Costco has a great deal on the low carb granola. It is thirteen ninety nine for a twenty two ounce bag. Wow! On the low carb website, an eleven ounce bag is twelve ninety nine. Very clean ingredients. Joe and Rachel did a review of the cinnamon almond pecan flavor and gave it a thumbs up. Jeez. Yeah, we really like their granola. Uh, they stopped sending us stuff because I don't like the other products. Yeah, sorry. I, I, they do like biscuits and stuff like that, and they're using ingredients that I personally don't like. 
So we will only talk about their granola, and so we don't get them anymore. But we really do like their granola. I just don't have it. We love it. It's, but it, all of those granolas are expensive because of the ingredients. It's not because it's keto. People always say, "Oh, it's keto." It's not. It's, it's the ingredients. Almonds are not cheap. Yeah, you can get fake keto products super cheap. So that is a great deal in a bag. A dollar more for a double size bag. That's really good. Thank you. Yes. Keto Chow flavor of the week. Finally, they got back in stock. Spicy taco. Spicy taco. Spicy taco is really good. Like, and you can use that for our chili if you don't want to use the tomato basil. Like, they're kind of interchangeable because that one has some spices in it. It doesn't burn your face off, though. It doesn't burn your face off. But that is really, really good. That's by, that's this week's flavor of the week. 10% off. And then if you use our coupon code down below, you get another 10% off. Usually if it's not a sweet flavor, my first reaction is, oh, wait a second. It's not a sweet flavor. But then there's so many recipes that go with it that it really is a blessing. Yeah. So we have had a fun week. It has been a fun week. We it, went camping until Tuesday. We did, which it was not the camping trip we planned, but it was the camping trip we needed. Yeah. We went and we brought our bicycles. And the first day we were like, by the time we got set up and everything like that, Just it was relax. like, we got up there late. We didn't get up. We were planning on being there by like two o'clock. We didn't get there until 4.30. We've gotten really good at setting up. You'd be so proud of us. I, I mean, I think we had everything set up in an hour and a half. And most of that is prettying up the campsite. Like the actual just setup is like 20 to 30 minutes. Pretty pretty means something though. It means something. But we have, in addition to just the camper, we put out a fish cleaning table, which becomes an outside sink. We put out our Blackstone. We hang a tarp up. Miss Berkey. We have our Berkey. We have all of that stuff. And so by the time we do all that, it took an hour and a half. The, when we first started, it was like three hours. I was like, my goodness. It feels like we've moved into a home. So we got everything set up. All of a sudden, it got windy. I don't even think windy explains it. It was blowing. Well, it started slow. We got we got our greenhouse up. We got our chairs. We have lights hanging. We go inside. We cook. We eat. Come out, and I all of a sudden I hear crash. Wind gust comes along, knocks over the bicycles, which knocks over the fish cleaning table, which threw the Berkey on the ground. Now I broke one of the pieces on it. I got to call them for a replacement. I was honestly amazed it didn't dent it. How did how did I we don't accomplish know. It didn't that? Dent at all. But but what happened was the knob piece broke on yeah. the lid. The screen house has toppled over pulled the stake out of the ground and is like in top of a bush. So it was like midnight and I'm out there. Oh, and th we have sea grapes next to us and there's the whole back bed where we're sleeping. That wasn't behind sea grapes. Full exposure. And we're a half a mile from the ocean. And so like midnight, Rachel is sleeping in the camper. I can sleep through anything. I hook up the camper. It's, do not do this if you have Apollo kid. You, I know somewhere in the manual says do not do this. But I raised up the legs with Rachel still sleeping back there, hooked up the camper to the truck and moved the camper 10 feet forward with her laying in it. Didn't notice a thing. Because like I wanted to get where we're sleeping from behind. In, like so the sea grapes were blocking the wind because that thing was rocking it was i mean but it held up it held up really well I, w I was amazed by that so my takeaway from our camping trip was the fact that we have started like resting more often right we're, we're taking these camping trips every other weekend you know once you've invested money in something it kind of like makes it more of a goal like we're doing this because right. we've spent money on this but every other week we have some scheduled self-care and rest right so the way it used to be where you had a vacation every six years everything better go as planned or you are super disappointed and we're pretty much we're trying to stay local for a lot of these because we're doing like go up sunday and we go camping sunday night monday night come home on tuesday and so we're staying like within an hour, hour and a half of our house. So it's much easier for us to get to the rest. It's scheduled rest. And as we were laying there thinking, we ain't going on no bike ride this weekend. We're probably going to be digging out, you know, our, our, our camper. 
and we might just have to just hang out in bed and watch movies like in our camper and that's all we're going to get to do this weekend it was okay right it was totally okay yeah because, because it rained the whole time we were there this is not our last trip yep and i mean and this is not our only trip so i can't stress enough the need for regular self care if for no other reason than when you do have some self-care time and you budget some vacation and relaxation for yourself, chances are it's still not gonna go as planned. Well, here's the thing. I now have actual proof that this self-care is good for you. Yeah. Okay, so we were camping and I finally ended up texting Chris Bear about this because I'm wearing my CGM and this is the Dexcom G6. So the difference between this and the freestyle, the freestyle you actually have to like scan it to right. find out what your glucose is. This one is hooked to your phone via Bluetooth and it's constantly monitoring. And if you get low, it tells you. Well, on average, my glucose is in the mid 80s to low 90s. That's where my glucose normally when is. When you're just resting. Just, just in general. Sometimes it spikes up for like, I'm going to do something or something like that. But that's the general like mid 80s to like mid 90s. That's that's kind of where I sit. So I have it like set up that like, if I get over 120, I want to know about it. Even though 120 is not bad, especially because if you're running or exercising. Yeah. But alert me. And I have it, if it gets below 65, let me know about it. I'm sitting there as we're just relaxing and watching TV and I'm eating and my phone starts going ding, 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 ding. The entire weekend or two days that we were there because it wasn't really a weekend, my glucose never went over 72. The other thing that I noticed was he didn't have any major spikes when we had those moments of realization that wow this this camper is really blowing hard it's raining hard like there was the stress. only time it went up is when i was actually moving the camper at midnight because i went back and i looked at it but all the rest of the time it was like mid 60s 70. you had stressors but they were not stressing you out right and i think that a lot of that just has to do with the fact that every other week we are just taking time for this like just doing it. So what I'm gonna do is I, I gotta verify that this is like not a one-time occurrence. Yeah, we'll just monitor so it. So I usually with the CGMs, I wear it for a little while and then I don't wear it for a while because they are expensive and I don't need it all the time. I'm not relying on it. So like I'll, it's whenever I wanna experiment and things like that. So I may wear it like once every five weeks or something like that for the 10 days, 14 days. So I am gonna keep this one in and we're going camping next week, and I want to verify, do I have the same results? Does Is there something again? to this, the fact that I'm on a vacation, I'm relaxing, I'm pulling myself away from anything else, I'm not near like phones and um, having to work on videos and everything like that, and does it stay at that low area? And it is strange for us. I can't stress how strange it is for us because we are used to taking time off and doing the self-care thing when you're sick, when you're exhausted, when you're burnt out. That's when you take a vacation, when you can't stand it anymore. Right. But our proactive method now is budget it in ahead of time even when you're like you know what it's been a, like only two weeks i probably could stretch this out and just cancel this trip and we'll go to the next trip no we're not doing it we're taking it even though we don't even think we need it well i mean you rachel had even said to me like well how about the next one to save some money let's just camp in the driveway <laughs> and deal with the code enforcement guy and i said here's the problem when we're home we don't know how to relax. Right. I, I mean, it's just a weird thing for us. If if I'm if I'm in my driveway, I have that like oh you may you you know you got that video. It it really needs to be done. There's another load There's of laundry. There's another load of laundry. As a matter of fact, so a funny thing before and then we'll move on to something else. There's but, a chicken that may need a hug. Yeah, we get up there Sunday night. Now again, we're an hour away, and Rachel goes. I forgot my pillows. All oh, of them. I forgot your pillows too. And I'm like, well, I have one pillow, but that's not gonna be enough for me. I need like three pillows. Plus it's like, guess what? Now now your pillow is my pillow. So now you have no pillows and I only have one pillow. So it, at this point, it, when we realize this, it starts raining. She goes, well, let's use the, the cushion from the couch. Don't do that. It doesn't work. Well, we added a board behind that to be able to like 
wrap and re recover it. My neck hurts so just thinking about it. So it hurt my neck. So the next morning I said, we have two options. We could run to Walmart and buy some pillows, but the problem is, is we need at least three pillows a piece. We're old. We so gotta prop ourselves up. At five dollars a piece, you know, we're gonna be at like thirty bucks for pillows. And we already have like two million pillows in our house. It's yeah. like ridiculous. We have a stack of pillows that never get used. We have an inappropriate amount of pillows. And so I said, or I can run home and get the pillows. And then there was something else that needed to be done. She's like Okay, well, let's do that. I'll go home with you, and while you're getting them, I will run to get the boxes for the shipping. And I'm like, no, then you're no staying work. here. You nope. stay here, watch a movie on your iPad, because, again, that was it. We're an hour away, and she's like, we're going home to get pillows, but she's like, the second I step in the house, I have do. work to do. Yeah. So we've just made the decision that every two weeks, we're going to go do this, and we're just going to, you know what? Work gets put to the side. Self-care. Schedule it. You need it. Whether you think you need it or not, schedule it. You want to talk about our food? Mm -hmm. We had a good food week. So starting off with our camping food. Yay, camping food. Hamburger, sausage, and our new thing is fried salami. I love that. It's so tasty and delicious. I honestly want to bring that into every night dinner. Okay, next thing we had, this is two burgers. This was at home, bacon. There's the sausage again, sliced in half with Swiss cheese. And then up in the corner is a little bit of peppers that we had left over from our camping trip. That bacon looks super burnt, but it was perfect. That's how we like it. Isn't that funny? That's our that? homemade bacon. It really we're wasn't. We're almost out. It wasn't burnt. Uh, another day, burgers. Those are eggs from our chickens down below Thank there. You, chickens. Those are like three thousand dollar eggs, right? Right. Now. Below the eggs, you're gonna see some like grilled up cheese, like crisp blood cheese on the blackstone, and underneath that is some ground beef. That's another one of the half sausages up on the top. You just can't tell it's cut in half. And then up on the very top corner is a bagel from Fox Hills Kitchen. So Rachel, her mom called and says like, do you guys have like a link or a coupon code for Fox? I'm like, yeah, it's two crazy ketos. It gets you like 10% off, but you can't use it on bundles. But his moment she said Fox Hill Kitchen, I was like, like, I have bagels in the freezer. I want some of that. I want a bagel with my burger. So that was like really good. Our plates are so ugly, but they're very tasty. We have one more day of food and that's from the other day. Chicken and see, look, we didn't have burgers this day. This was like a hodgepodge of food. Tell me about it. What is going on? So in we had grilled chicken breasts, grilled steak, grilled shrimp, and then leftover chicken wings. And then you can see up on the top corner, another one of those cheddar sausages cut in half. And you can see how all that cheese is just oozing through. And that was on top of, I think, some lettuce. <laughs> to soak up all the juice. But it was really good. Now today is Sunday. We're gonna do the Redmond 72 hour fast. I've gotta start earlier though, because I need it to end at, by five o'clock on Wednesday. Right. So I've gotta end. Cause you have to go out to eat with somebody. Yes. So you're gonna end it early. Five o'clock today is when I have to start though. So what we're gonna do is as soon as this is over, we're eating wings. That's, wings. that's today's dinner. I actually had a coupon for 30 free wings from Buffalo Wild Wings and explicitly said I cannot use it on buy one get one days so we figured you know what we're gonna have some wings we're gonna have some ground beef today is the and day. Uh, i think we're also having like i splitting a sub or a sub salad from wawa because i had a coupon from wawa for a free one and that expired tomorrow ask every place you go to do they have a loyalty program i love loyalty programs it is so worth it even if you have to toss bread or toss crackers or toss things that you don't need or you can ask them can you turn this sandwich into a bowl most places will like accommodate you and wawa is really good just tell them hey do me a favor throw out the bread put it in a large tell them i want it in a big cell bowl otherwise they put it in a little bowl like tell them you want it thing. in a big salad bowl and once in a blue moon, someone will say, why don't you just order the salad? And I'm like, because you can't customize it as much. But nobody ever complains. And if you have their loyalty program, like every other one I get is a free hero. So we just bring it home and we eat it as a salad. Let's take a quick commercial break and then we can come back with subscriber of the weeks and everything else. Yay. Welcome back. Okay, start off with Keto College. Now, yes. if you're new to our channel, we have a Facebook family group. And what we like to do is, again, this is all about you guys. Keto on the Couch is all about celebrating our subscribers. So in our Facebook family group, we like to go through, pick out comments, somebody who does something inspiring, 
Also, we like to have different stories in there, and we also spend this time now reading different comments from last week's Keto on the Couch. Yeah. So this week's Keto College adjunct professor, which is had an, somebody who had an inspiring post, okay. is actually Shauna. Shauna! Shauna said, non-scale victory. While I was making my air fryer ribeye, the evening staff was chatting to me about keto. She said she's been watching me for a few years. She said, I've been seeing you making these delicious meals and you have shared keto chow shakes with me and some of the amazing keto desserts you have also made. She is a stunningly beautiful, slender woman, but wanted to be healthy and reach a goal weight. She said she is so close and that I am her inspiration, her wow. motivation and keto model. I held it back downstairs, but as I write this, I have tears streaming down my face. So my dear friends, we can be an inspiration, a motivation, and a role model no matter where we are on our journey. Something that I needed to be reminded of. Shauna, I love that. Yes, it's like the perfect keto college professor, it right? It really, really is, Professor Sh Professor Shauna. Um, but yeah, I think sometimes we look at other people and maybe they're a different size than us or they're, but that doesn't mean healthy. Right. You know, skinny doesn't mean healthy. That's right. We're looking to be like in our weight loss goals, but also meet our health goals. So that is awesome. And I love that, that you're willing to share what you have, share your knowledge, because that's what it's all about. Dr. Barry said that again in our live stream, that he can share all of the knowledge that he has in the world, but this is a roots level thing. This is, right. you know, you're going to have to take this and carry this. If you're gonna spread the word, it's not going to be big pharma that spreads it. Right. It's not going to be the food industry that spreads it. It's going to be people spreading it. Yeah. That's awesome. And if you have not seen, we just, we're restarting our series on how to get started with keto. We put up our first episode, which is the three things you absolutely have to do to get started on keto, carnivore, proper human diet, whatever you want to call. I'll leave a link over Rachel said, share that video with as many people as you can, because I'm yeah. telling you, grassroots, this is going to become popular. Like like Dr. Barry said, he he believes that the next group of doctors that's going to start grabbing hold is going to be oncologists. Definitely. And that is going to be amazing. When we start, you know, you're starting to see it in the diabetic world. And if you can start seeing it now in like the cancer world and start having physicians going, hey, you want to help prevent cancer, get rid of all of the sugar and stuff. It's just, it's going to be an amazing movement, but it starts with us. It starts with you guys. So share that video and share your successes, your non-scale victories and your scale victories. Okay, next one we have, this is from Jamie. Hey, Jamie. She says, I needed this today. I know I'm losing weight. I just can't see it in the mirror. So this was a real boost for me. The picture on the left was taken in June of this year. The one on the right was this past weekend. It amazed me and showed me that I am on the right path. Yes. Oh my gosh. Talk about aging backwards. Wow. <sighs> Jamie, you look incredible. And yes, we have to have these pictures taken it's side so by side. You need it. And it's so important to take pictures because when you can look at the pictures and compare them, that's where you can see the difference. Because like we said last week, I look in the scale, I don't see a difference. I still see the same person from three years ago. It's not until I see those pictures side by side that I start going, oh my gosh, look at that. Now we have a couple more, but again, I just wanted to remind everybody, if you're not a member of our Facebook family group, go join it and it's share free. your story. It's free, there's no charge for it but share your story, share what's going on with you because there's somebody out there right now that is going through what you've gone through or what you're going through and they think that they're alone. Right. And when you jump in and say, hey, this is what's happening with me, they're like, oh my gosh, well, if they're doing it, I can do it. And that's why that whole group is there. Okay, next one is from Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Now, Jessica actually had a really long post, uh, so I shortened a little bit, otherwise we wouldn't be able to read it. Uh, but go read it over in your Facebook family group because it is amazing. It's really inspirational. So Jessica says, it's been a crazy ride, but loving it. Down 130 pounds as of August wow. 2020. I have hypothyroidism and nothing worked to lose weight. Not only did keto help me lose weight, it melted off. I had plantar fasciitis and would limp for the first 30 minutes in the morning after getting up because it just hurt to walk completely gone. I've had degenerative joint disease in my knees and ankles since I was 18 and thin, because it was a hereditary thing. Rainy season and winters were rough. I couldn't sleep, the aching is so bad. 
I haven't had to take medication to sleep or even in general, except maybe one time since I started to keto. Aside from that, I was a relatively healthy, morbidly obese, 32 year old woman, no P BP issues, lipids were good, no diabetes, almost 34 now, and feel better than I did in my 20s. Wow. <laughs> Wow. So that is Christmas 2018 to the present. Wow. Is that amazing? Oh man, guys, give it a couple of years. I was heavy for so many years that sometimes we get in a rush to have that kind of weight loss. That is amazing weight loss. 130 pounds, like it changes your entire life. Yeah. But give it time. Like she's giving it time. Yep. I love that. You look amazing. Okay, let's get into some comments. But before we do that, we'll take one more commercial break to satisfy the YouTube stuff. See you soon. That was so quick. <laughs> okay, first one is from Parrothead Renee. Hey, Renee. She said, I just want to say I love y'all's unfiltered honesty. How about just unfiltered, right? Uh, we are all human and have so many demons we deal with and you guys don't try to sugarcoat or act like you never fail. Thanks for loving us so much to share real life. You guys are beyond awesome. Over the past year, I've watched you several YouTubers and learned a little here and there, but I've never strayed from your channel since I stumbled across you guys. Aww. Thank you for the from the bottom of my heart. I found that I actually spend less and eat higher quality foods. I'm no longer buying junky snacks or impulse buys. I make a list and I stick to it. The things I do splurge on are cheeses or meats that might be on sale. I love that, Renee. Thank you. I love you so much. You have been such a blessing to us and such an encouragement and, and really just such an encouragement to so many people. You know what I love? Looking on Facebook that friendships have been made mm -hmm. in the Facebook family group and then outside of that you know, Facebook page, there's friendships, like conversations going on. That like blesses my heart so much because we need each other, right? right? Like people need people. And I just love getting to be your friend. I just love the whole family atmosphere of our channel and Watch Autumn Keto's channel. Yes. Very, very similar, right? And I know a lot of you guys like watch Autumn, right? And if you don't, go watch Autumn. Go watch Autumn. In fact, we and just Richard. found out Autumn and Richard are gonna be coming on Low Carb Cruise. So we're really excited about it. If you're interested, there's a link down below so you can email Debbie and get the information. I mean, cruise prices are really cheap right now. How much fun are we gonna have on that boat now? I know. But yeah, I just like the family atmosphere. I yeah. love watching Autumn's videos and her live streams and seeing the chat in the stream and the chat down below and in the comment section. And you guys are the same way. And that's what makes it so good because this it's a long-term thing and we need support long-term. Yeah. Okay, so next one is from Married to Keto. Hey, Married to Keto. She says, OMG, I really needed to hear this today. I had just weighed myself, and then Rachel said not to give pounds the power. Such perfect timing. Thank you, guys. Isn't that amazing how we just sort of help each other? I see that all the time in the Facebook family group. Somebody will just say something that I needed to hear. Yep. Like, I just needed it right in that moment. And I hope that we're a blessing like that to people because y'all are a blessing like that to us. Now, that's another channel, guys. Go check out her channel. Channel. I'll leave a link yes. for it down below. I mean, she's been like one of our subscribers for a long time and she's documenting her whole journey over there. Incredible. And again, we're all about community. So yes. go check out her channel. Okay, so Gail wrote. Hey, Gail. Said, wow, some really great viewer testimonials. Rachel, I want to see you with red hair and caramel highlights. I feel like Gail will get her wish before the silver thing. Oh, no, no, no. Before we, Joe gets his wish. No, we, I, I actually meant to go to the store, but I ran out of time. we are got to get into that now. So last week, we put out there, some people have suggested, Rachel always complains because her grades Grace. have been coming in since she was 18 years old. This is not an old thing. You're not old. You look Thank like you're you. in your 30s. God bless you. This, But you have to live with me, so. But we put it out there. Should she make her hair silver and my argument is I think she's gonna look hot and also she cha she colors her hair every like four weeks so if it doesn't work we can just change color it, it back change it something else you're right? right and then hey we wouldn't have to do it as often because the grays would be in there and you wouldn't notice the roots as much I got a white eyebrow hair have you guys had a white eyebrow hair yet Anthony oh. came to me the other day and he's that like I've got me. grays in my beard he was so upset. He's got he's great my, beard. He's 20 years old. He's my kid. 
<laughs> okay, you ready? Yes. Next one is from Rachel Bartley. Hey, Rachel. She says, you both are always so inspirational. Congrats on 80 episodes of Keto on the Couch. Go for the silver hair, Rachel. And if you don't like it, you can just change it to a new funky color. See? Or I could wear a hat. <laughs> I do enjoy hats. You ready to keep going? Yes. Kimberly Rowe. Hey, Kimberly. As someone who is 39 and naturally gray, I can tell you that removing dark dye to transition to gray is a lengthy process. Oh. It took forever for my stylist to remove all the dark color dye from my hair to reveal my grays. It is a major commitment. I say go for it. Embrace the gray. And for those of us naturally gray folks, it's not a fad for us. So glad it's more socially acceptable these days. Kimberly, I'm really glad that I'm not in this alone. Like, thank you. Again, we talk about like sharing your story and sharing something because you're going to inspire somebody else. I needed to hear that because sometimes when, you know, like when your friend circle or your workplace people or even people in your family don't share the same circumstance you have, you feel very alone. Like right. I've, I've felt a lot of pressure to color my hair because I don't know anybody else that was my age. There was nobody at 20 with grays. There was nobody at 18 with grays. So I've always felt pressure to color it. So you just saying that you also have had this situation happen to you where you're like naturally gray makes my heart really feel better. So like, thank you for that. I appreciate that. I was editing our vlog from camping, which is going to go up this week. And you've got like it's roots bad. that long. Can I just say thank you for loving me guys? And like, just kind of looking the other way when I look like a hot mess. Like I look like such a hot mess today. My non-skill victory though is you I, get peed on I did not get peed on today. However, I did manage to miss my mouth completely and before service. Like I didn't even get one service with no coffee across my chest. Sometimes I just forget how to drink. Do you have that problem that like you're sipping your coffee and sipping and all of a sudden I forget, I don't know how to drink anymore and now it's all over my chest. Speaking of which, did you bring home my two crazy ketos mug? My big silver, like this, the other one of these. Did I you bring that so. home? I think so. I hope so because like I only have a couple of these left. Like, we, we I know I brought you one at church because you wanted a cold drink. It was funny because people were like throwing it into Lost and Found to retrieve it from Lost and Found to be like, hey, finders keepers, losers weepers. <laughs> okay. Next one is from Don Don. Hey, Don Don. She says, uh, silver will age you so much. I hate the idea. Sorry. <laughs> Well, there's always like once the good news is Don, you can change it you back. Can change that's, it. that's my thing. You can change it back. And I think you're going to like it. I mean, it's literally been every color. The worst was the blonde. Here's the thing about the blonde. Remember when we did the blonde? We did it ourselves. Oh, that was terrible. It idea. was it was it was a horrible idea. I don't know how many times we bleached it to get it blonde, but it was so bad. And then I mean, you you couldn't even do anything with it because it was fucked so it, bad. It was hay. It was it was just absolute hey, it was so bad. But you know, it's kind of fun going into Halloween, which I'm gonna just apologize right now for all of the costuming I will probably be wearing in the videos that take place during October, but I just love it. And it's gonna happen. But um but yeah, at least it's during like the October month. Maybe we should do it now because I could just like play it off like it's a costume. We can video it. How about we live stream it? Oh, Lord, no. Let us know. Live, no. Should we live stream changing Rachel's color? Okay, let's see what else everybody else time. says. Vintage Girl says, Rachel rocks any hair color. And girl, you know you're definitely bathing suit worthy. Aw, that bathing suit should be asking if it's worthy. I love you, girl. You're amazing and beautiful. Don't let the old mindset talk you out of wearing what you want. Rock it all. The only way Rachel can. Joe, you look great. Uh... <laughs> Lose that voice on your left shoulder. He's wrong. You're slaying it as well. We love you all. Also, love it. Uh, never give a pound power. That has to be your next t-shirt and coffee mug. Have a great work week, friends. Uh, Pat and Ava. We love you guys. I Hi, actually Avalyn. never thought about that. Yeah, we, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna work on that design this week, and we're gonna do our shirt for that because yeah. I love that. Never give a pound of power. That yeah. is that is gonna be an awesome shirt. It has. It's 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 been like given too much power for way too long. Yep. Next one is from Cindy. Hey, Cindy. She said, don't do it, Rachel. Your hair looks good darker. It'll be back, I'm sure. 
Back and forth. Okay, you ready? Yes. Brianna said, my grandmother had the most beautiful silver hair. When she was older, I would wash and set it for her, and I always told her how awesome it was. Aww. She said, well, honey, when I die, you can have it. <laughs> she passed away when I was about 40, and my hair started turning silver. Wow. I never dyed it, and by the time I was 45, I had long silver hair. Oh, amazing. Everywhere I went, people would stop me and tell me how beautiful it was. When I turned 55, I had to cut it short because of hot flashes. Oh, it's a thing. But I still love the color, and I'm proud to wear my grandma's hair. Oh. I vote gray, white, silver, salt, and pepper every time. Be proud of you. Oh, Brianna, I you love You have to do that. this. I love that. It's so. It's funny because my grandmother um, was a, a, a lovely Cherokee woman who had very long hair. She had never cut her hair since she was 16 years old, so it was very, very long. But she was like me. She had um, the white hair right from since she was, I think she was 16 years old when it started turning, and she dyed it. She dyed all of this long hair because it, it always kind of bugged her. And I can remember brushing my grandmother's hair and thinking, wow, what beautiful hair. And I never thought of it that way. Like, I, I don't, I want to take on my grandmother's characteristics without my grandmother's hangups. And if that was a hangup for her, like worrying about like letting her hair be its natural color, I should probably let that hang, hang up go. Well, here's my thing. We're always trying to eliminate toxins and things like that. Yeah. How much healthier would your hair be if probably. we don't have to dye it all the time? That's true. So it's worth a shot. Worst case, we go back to what we're doing. But what if you really like it? Yeah. And then you just let it get silver. I don't think it's going to be gray. I think it's going to be like silver. Silver. I think it's going to be silver. It's going to glow See? like you. Okay. <laughs> next one is from Joe. Joe says, rock to silver. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I read through all the comments. There were a few more, but most of them say you need to go silver. So that was the vote was silver. Okay. Okay. Kathleen wrote. Do it. Gray silver isn't an old thing anymore. Give it a good try. And if you don't like it, you can change it. A friend has beautiful white silver and adds in some beautiful purple. Me? Oh, I have a deep green in the rear and under my salt and pepper. That's kind of cool. See, I, you could do that. I've never done green. No, you haven't done green. We did blue. Yeah, but not green. That's kind of cool. Well, first go silver. Go and then silver. we can add that in first. Then green. Okay, so Annette said, no, no silver, silver hair. hair. <laughs> I love it. Don't you love, like, just the interaction? That's I do. That's my favorite, that, guys. That's the, our favorite part of this channel. Next one is from Shelly. Shelly says, since I work from home, it's whatever clean pajamas I have, and I will wear the same ones for a couple days. For a cruise, I have set clothes just for cruising, and they stay packed. What a good idea. That's an awesome. Well, we're planning on doing that for camping. Is Rachel's already been awesome about that. For She's sure. got in the back room, like, all of our sheets. Because we have a pop-up camper, we're not leaving the sheets and the blankets and everything in so there, the towels. Wet. It's Florida. So we have it all packed in the back room so we can just go. But our next thing is we're going to do is we're going to get, like, take our bags, and we're going to go to the thrift store, and we're going to say, these are our camping clothes. And they're just going to be in a bag so that we can literally grab the bag and throw it in the truck on the way out the door. And everything's Get already packed. Yeah. So that's why we're getting so good at packing up. And eventually we're going to get a travel trailer and then everything can just stay inside of that. And it could be like, hey, we're going camping and leaving 20 minutes. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's the dream. Okay, next one is from Shanta. Hey, Shanta. And she says, go for shirts that are not sol solid colors and shorts that you can wear with more than one outfit and universal shoes to pack a little more. You pack by folding and rolling your shirts up and to roll so you can fit a little more. That is exactly what my mom does. Right. Whenever she goes packing, you, instead of folding the shirts, and folding the pants, she rolls them. And you're thinking to yourself that it's going to make them super wrinkled, and it doesn't. No. Like, they stay in the form, and that is a great idea. I've also seen people who use, uh, roll them, and then rubber band them. And they also have those, they have those, remember they had, years ago, they had those space saver bags? But now they have, that you needed a vacuum for those. But yeah. now they have new ones that you can actually roll, and it rolls the air out. Which is good, because here's my problem. I can pack for the trip... But the same clothes that was hard without a space saver to get into my bag, they have to come home with me. Next one is from Krista. Krista says, whatever is clean and matches. I'm with you, Krista. I am doing this cruise too, and I don't have a thing to wear. Up for a shopping trip, Rachel? Heck yes, Krista. I'm totally up for a shopping trip. I am all about 
the shopping trip. But my shopping trips are usually to the thrift store. I'm well, going to be honest. We have to go to the thrift store right now because we are saving like all of our money because we want to buy a travel trailer and we want to pay cash for it. Yes. So we have, we're on like a strict budget of. So strict. Like you have to eat what's in the house. We can only use free coupons for going out to eat or anything like that. Well, here's the thing. I just got a message today for, from somebody who was asking um, for a large family, like a family with five kids going keto. They would like to have some more videos on making keto super inexpensive. So we're in the market for very cheap keto. So it's good. Yep. Okay, next one is from Alex. Hey, Alex. It says, first thing I grab and my wife does decide sometimes by rearranging my drawer. So this is Alex Hittipole. Is that like somebody slapstick. related to Slapstick or is he Christopher on his like son's account or something? Right. Well, I think that that is always good as, as a wife. If you know that that's how your husband dresses, you can make him wear anything you want him to wear because you just set it out. Like if he just grabs and goes, then just put what you want. That doesn't work for me. Easter shirt. He'll wear a button down and be like, what happened? <laughs> Next one is from Catherine. Hey Catherine. She said, hi, can I just check that we are able to have olive oil? And if we can, why don't you make uh, mayonnaise using that oil? Thanks. Um, yes, you can absolutely have olive oil on keto. The reason I don't use it for mayonnaise is it has a distinct taste. You recently made some olive oil mayonnaise. I did, and I didn't like the taste of it. It's, it's a very overpowering taste, and I'm not a big olive fan to begin with, so I like olive oil when it comes to things like, you know, putting a little like thing on for a vinaigrette dressing or splashing some on top of some Drizzling chicken, something pizza. like that but not when it comes to making a mayonnaise. One thing about olive oil, do remember that it is, does have a very low flash point, so it's not good for frying. You're gonna get, degrade the oil, it's not gonna taste good, it's gonna burn, so when you wanna fry something, you should use avocado oil, uh, you can use um, coconut oil, lard, ghee, uh, tallow, all of those, so don't use the olive oil for frying, but you can use it to make mayonnaise, and it's funny, yesterday actually, Chris Bear sent me a message. He's like, a little word of advice. Olive oil does not taste good with chocolate keto chow. Oh. He's like, I did it as an experiment for two meals today. And I'm don't like, do that. I would not do that either. Wow. <laughs> I feel like your dream meal would be tuna fish and olive oil mayonnaise together. Yeah, no. Next up is Claire. Hey, Claire. She says, this, the misinformation is terrible out there. I went to get an EMG test today, and the doctor was chit-chatting and asked how I had lost weight recently. I explained a very low-carb diet. He said he attended a continuing education seminar where he was told by a nutritionist that ketones are not good for people and make you feel terrible. I schooled him and let him know that ketones in the presence of high glucose makes you feel terrible, but ketones with normal BG levels make you feel great. Claire, I love how you presented that to your doctor. You didn't like storm out of the room and, and get mad or offended, but you like helped to educate him in a very positive way. And these are conversations that we're going to have to have, you know, with medical doctors and nurses and people in the healthcare industry. And I think that, you know, once the you know, discussion starts, we want to be very encouraging to these health professionals who are letting their guard down and saying, okay, I'm not just going to try to be like, hey, I know more than you. I'm actually going to be willing to learn from my patients. That takes a lot, right? right? To say that you're willing to get some new information. Well, here's the thing. And, and it's interesting, like it's the nutritionist teaching the doctor, right? right. That's, that's, and the problem, the nutritionists, I believe a lot of them don't like the whole keto thing because it's kind of taking what their job is away from them, right? The whole idea of a nutritionist is like, you're going to eat all this and all this and all this. And then you have Dr. Barry and a lot of us super just simple. saying, this is super simple. Eat the outer aisle, stay away from the rices, the grains, the sugars, the processed foods, and eat the leafy vegetables and the meat and as much of it as you want. That's, that can be that kind of like defeats the purpose of having a nutritionist, right? One meeting. Right. So I don't think they like it. So yeah, for the most part, they're, it's like a Jillian Michaels. They don't want to promote it and they're going to tell you it's bad. But unfortunately, Dr. Barry has talked about it. Doctors don't blame the doctors. They don't get any nutrition information in teaching when they're in medical school. They get like a day of it. They get a very small amount, so they don't know. So we have to, like Claire did, very politely explain this. 
hand them Dr. Barry's book, hand them Jason Fung's book. I mean, there's plenty of information we can gently guide to them. And you are without being nasty. Well, and you are living proof that it works. That's the thing. You are the proof. Do well, stick to this, become the living evidence that this works and then somebody can say well yeah it, it, you don't have good health if you're if you're on a keto diet and you're like well here i am right. getting off of medicine and feeling better so i guess one of us is wrong and i don't think it's me yeah i love it when people are like oh it's so unhealthy to eat all that fat and i'm like and it was healthy when i weighed 300 pounds that was better so for me? I, i'm i'm healthier 300 pounds but eating a fat free high carbohydrate high sh sh uh, fruit sugar diet but at 190 pounds, no, you're not healthy. Like, it makes no sense. Okay, next one is from Mark. Hey, Mark. Mark said, okay, this is in reverse of what I know. I know a couple of people wanting to gain weight. Well, if you were eating good quality food, you shouldn't be gaining weight. But if you wanted to put on some in a healthy manner, what would you do? And no beer or pizza wouldn't be a good answer. I thought this was an incredible question yeah. and a very valid one, and that's why I put it in here, because I know most of us are trying to lose weight. But keto, carnivore, proper human diet, it's good for everybody. Everybody should be on it, not just to lose weight, but for all of the other health benefits. So what do you do? It's very simple. You're gonna eat more fat. Mm -hmm. That's what you're gonna do. So you're gonna eat more food and more fat. So if you look at somebody like, keto savage or you know danny vega or some of these other people who are very very lean they can't rely on as much body fat because they don't have as much yeah. body fat so you're going to eat more fat like i, I believe keto savage eats like close to 80 percent fat in his calories and he's eating like over 3,000 calories and I know people are gonna be like, well, how do you eat that much food? What if you're just not full? When you start increasing the fat amount, you get less food, really. You're going to not have as much food. Like I can tell you, like when we did that protein sparing modified fast. Tons which, of food. I'll leave a link for that video over Rachel's head. The plates were huge, but the calories were low because right. it was lots of protein. When you start adding in lots of fat, you know, you realize that, you know, one gram of protein is about four calories. Well, one gram of fat is nine calories. Yeah. So you're gonna be getting a lot less food, but more fat, which is gonna fuel your body so it's not eating. You just have to keep giving your body that fuel, that fat, so that it doesn't go onto your body. And then if you keep adding more, eventually it's gonna start storing it. That's why when you, know, you go on Weight Watchers, you could make a pot of that cabbage soup that has no fat in it at all, and they would be like well that's zero points it's like you didn't even eat anything but you ate an entire stew pot full of food right okay next one is from april hey april she says does that dawn effect that dr barry and joe always talk about pertain to weight too when i wake up and weigh myself first thing in the morning i'm always one or two pounds more than i am when i wait and weigh around noon it's so weird I think this is a great question. I don't know. I didn't put it in there because I know the answer because I honestly don't know the answer. It would be an interesting study because the Dawn effect is absolutely real and you know there's a lot of documentation about the Dawn effect, but I've never seen any kind of documentation about this, but it, I'm the same way. I am same. generally about two pounds heavier in the morning than I am about two hours later. So I don't know if it's a water thing. I've, and again, a TMI thing, but I've talked to Rachel before, I can't tell you how many times I get up in the morning, I'm 190 pounds, and then I'm like, okay, I have to go use the restroom, and I use the restroom, and I'm in there for a few minutes, and then I come out, and I'm like, how did I just go to the bathroom, and I'm up 100, I'm up two more pounds? Like, it makes no sense. I just released poundage. I just released five pounds. How am I up two pounds higher than before? I hope you didn't poop or pee five pounds. So I don't know the answer to that question, but I thought it was a really good discussion. But let us know down in the comment section, how many people experience that? How many people have a thing First where thing they the get morning. up in the morning, which I know we say don't weigh, but let's face it, we all do it. I don't, I've been off the scale. Uh, you're much better than me. So how many people get up in the morning, weigh themselves, and then find that they weigh less a couple of hours later? I'm curious, let's do like some kind of weird study on our own about this. Let's figure this out. The last one is from Tanya. Hey, Tanya. She says, I got paid the highest compliment by my doctor today. She's amazing, by the way. 
I went in to ask about doing labs and stuff and she was all for it. She said I was her most studied and scientific based patient and I stick to it. I do have a degree in biology and 20 years of clinical data experience, but at the end she said soon you'll be health coaching and have seminars. I told her I attended the PhD summit and she also says when I do she's, uh, she's ready to send me some patients. I'm like I've been silently praying about this. I've already coached two family members and three people in my church um, but have gotten, that have gotten curious. Please pray with me on this. As if this is the Lord's will, I don't want to miss this opportunity, but I also want to be fully equipped and trained to see others succeed at their health and wellness journey. Tanya, what a great, great that is so awesome. hope and prayer to have. And we absolutely will partner with you in prayer about this matter because I know what you're thinking where it's like, I don't want to do any damage to anybody. I don't want to, you know, like lead anybody in the wrong direction, but you're not. No. I will say if you really want to get into doing like coaching and stuff like that and really want to have some good background on it, go check out Maria Emmerich's website mm -hmm. um, because she actually has a course on becoming a certified keto coach. So it might be something you want to look into if it's something that you're seriously, seriously thinking about. That's so exciting though. And I mean, you're helping people all along the way. Yeah. So that is going to be this week's Keto on the Couch. Hopefully next week, we're going to see Rachel with silver hair. We will see. So if you like seeing videos like this, there are 80 other Keto on the Couches, which you can check out by clicking on that link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next week. Bye. bye.